Father, we thank you tonight. What an amazing God. If you know that you serve an amazing God, I want you to put it in the chat tonight, that amazing God. He is always there no matter what we go through. Praise the Lord. No matter what we go through, he's always faithful. He never leaves us. He never forsakes us. He's always there with us. He's always there with us. What a good God. What a great God we serve. Father, we worship you tonight. We exalt you. Indeed, you are an amazing God. You are trustworthy. You are dependable. You are faithful. Glory be to your name in the highest. For in Jesus' name, we have worshipped. Amen. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to our Tuesday prayers. God bless you. I wasn't going to do this prayer tonight because I was feeling strong. And I'm like, oh, I told my husband, I said, I don't think I'm going to do my prayers tonight. He's like, you have to do it. You have to do it. <laughs> and I told my daughter, I said, can't somebody just take one day break in a year? If I'm feeling, you know, if I feel I'm feeling strong and everything. My daughter said, there's nothing wrong with it. But my husband said, no, 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 no. You just have to do it. I said, you're always pushing people. <laughs> but I thank God that I'm doing it tonight because I believe God wants me to do it. He's an amazing God. And I believe there are people coming tonight that God wants to speak to. So I just got up, took a shower and like, oh God, give me the word tonight. You know, I'm strong, but Lord, there are people that are coming to pray. And I pray that you will grant everyone their heart desires and give us testimonies in Jesus' name. Amen. But I want to share my testimony first. So this week, oh no, last week, you know, I have a business and, um, so I was like, I haven't even been selling a lot recently. What's going on? So I decided to put some ads on Instagram on my uh, business page. That let me just post some new juries and just refresh people's mind. So I posted the juries around 6 a.m. in the morning. And I posted like three pictures that day. <sighs> I just hope people will see these pictures and, you know, start buying. And so anyway, I posted the picture. Then later on in the day, my store girl had called me that there was someone in the store that came to buy something, somebody I know anyway. So I'm like, good. That. So the person said, oh, when she's done, I should give her some discounts. And I said, okay, no problem. And so that was how that went. And um, later on, um, my shop girl now called me and said, oh, by the way, you know, my friend is ready to pay and that um, I need to give her a discount. So I said, okay, so how much is she buying and how much discount? I mean, how much is she buying so that I could give her a discount? And my store girl said, oh, she just spent 1 million, 142,000 naira. I said, eh? <laughs> she said, she just spent 1 million, 142,000 naira. I said, hey, amazing God, oh, you always take care of me. Amazing God. I was just doing one dance in my room like this. I was in Canada. I said, eh, 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 eh. <laughs> so, I mean, that was it. It was, I was just so, you know, taken aback and I was just giving glory to God that indeed God is a good God. It was early in the morning. I was still saying, oh God, let these customers come. And then the funny thing was that before the end of that week, I mean, you know, I, I had sold so much that I just couldn't believe it. I had to tell my husband, I said, this is a miracle. This is a testimony. Our God is faithful. So I just wanted to share that with you that, you know what? God is faithful. Let's continue to trust God that he sees our hearts. I didn't even pray about that thing. All, all I did was I thought about it, that ah, this is what is going on. And, you know, God has just been faithful like that. In fact, that's not the end of testimony. I have so many testimonies. The week before, I was going to pay my tithe. And I was struggling to pay that tithe because, honestly, I mean, I'm like, Lord, you know that, you know, my money is so, so much that this tithe, I knew that I had to pay it, but I really struggled because... It wasn't convenient, you know. And I said, God loves a cheerful give out. So, Father, I have to force myself to be cheerful with this giving because I'm not really cheerful, you know. <laughs> so, but anyway, I know that my tithe is important. So, of course, I paid the tithe. And that was on Sunday, right? Like I said, remember I said, you know, I was like struggling. I'm like, Lord, oh, you know, I have a lot of money now and this and that. But anyway... By the end of that week, by Saturday of that week, I just had customers buying jewelry. Normally, my customers only buy jewelry in Lagos. They don't, I don't really sell jewelry like that here, just once in a while. My customers were buying jewelry. Somebody dashed me $500. I mean, by the end of that week, I already had over $2,000. 
this was me myself that I was complaining that, ah, Lord, oh, I can't give it this tight. But guess what? You can never outgive God. The Bible says it's more blessed to give than to receive. And, you know, I was just like, oh my God, God is always blowing my mind. You know, I have so many testimonies. You know, in fact, there's one more. Even this Canada that I went to, you know, it was like we had so many things to do and take care of that. I'm like, oh, Lord, you need to meet us at our point of need of us to be able to do all these things. And so the sister was supposed to go with us, but she couldn't go because she was busy. So she was like, oh, you know, what do you want to do for this program? Maybe we should give out. Um, she asked her, I said, oh, maybe we can give them our books. So she said, OK, give them your new books and let's see, you know, let me know how many people bought the book or got the book when you get back. And, you know, when I got back, I sent her a text that, so this were the number of books we gave out and everything. And, you know, she just wrote a check for me for over a thousand dollars. Just like that. Hey, Kerebo Shataya Baba. I said, amazing God, amazing God, oh, you also take care of me. Amen. <laughs> so anyway, I just wanted to share my testimonies. Um, I know my husband would tell me that, oh, so you're joking so much. And I told him, I said, look, I want to be my authentic self. I cannot be fake. This is who I am. And they love me like that. So anyway, let's go back to our prayers. I know that we have a short time today, but like I said, you know that I, you know, I was, I believe God wanted me to share testimonies today. And uh, of course we are still going to pray. Praise the Lord. So if you know that you are awaiting your testimony, I pray that God will give you your miracle before the end of this week and you will testify of whatever prayer it is you are trusting God for in the name of Jesus. The God that is faithful, that has that is no respecter of persons, will do your own and, you know, surprise you and embarrass you with his faithfulness and goodness in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And so we're going to be praying um, Genesis 1.14. Praise the Lord. Of course, we know we're in the fourth month. April is the fourth month. And Genesis 1, 14 talks about what God created on the fourth day. On the fourth day, the Bible says God created the light. He created the sun, the moon, and the stars. The greater light to rule by day and the lesser light to rule by night. And so he made a distinction. And we're going to be praying about that. God made a distinction. And the Bible says he wants us to be like the sun. He says he wants us to be like the sun. So we're going to pray that, Father, Lord, your word says, I am light. I am the light of the world. And you created light on the fourth day. And you made a distinction. Father, we are using that to pray tonight. That, Lord, this year, Father, let there be a distinction between us and others. Begin to pray that, Lord, there will be a distinction in my life. In my family, we will be distinct in every facet of our lives. Father, we will be distinct. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray that in the place of favor, God will distinct you. God will distinguish you. In the place of favor, God will distinguish you. In the place of mercy, God will distinguish you. In the place of lifting, may the Lord distinguish you. In the place of preservation, may the Lord distinguish you. In the place of blessings, may the Lord distinguish you. In the place of testimonies, may the, may the Lord distinguish you. When it comes to your children, may the Lord distinguish you. May he distinguish you for goodness. In the mighty name of just as he distinguished the lights and say, let these lights be separated. In the name of Jesus Christ, that covenant of the fourth day will walk in your life will walk in our lives will walk in our family in the name of jesus we are still praying the bible says that our god created the greater light to rule by day we are going to use that to pray you know he says he created the greater light to rule by day and the lesser light to rule by night that means that light rule they rule in the morning they rule in the evening as long as you are light you are supposed to rule which signifies dominion and that is one of the things that God gave us that we should exercise dominion. So you are going to pray that, Father Lord, this year, I exercise dominion over anxiety. I exercise dominion over, Father Lord, every negative thought. I exercise dominion over my finances. I exercise dominion in my relationship. In everything that concerns me, I declare that I am ruling. Nothing will rule over me. Stress will not rule over me. Sickness will not rule over me. Anxiety will not rule over me. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I will rule in my sphere of, uh, my sphere of influence. In my domain, that domain that God has given you. No one will come and rule you. No one will come and, no one will come and have dominion over your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, at your job, you will not be suppressed. In your business, you will not be suppressed. In ministry, you will not be suppressed. As a woman, you will not be suppressed. As a mother, you will not be suppressed. As a wife, you will not be suppressed. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are still praying. It says that, you know, you, the sun will rule in the morning and the moon will rule at night. You are going to pray that in the morning of your life, you will be in control. 
In the night of your life, you will be in control. In the name of Jesus, no matter what season you are. You know, there are seasons in life. There is morning season. There is night season. Then this Bible, this word is saying, no matter what season you are going through, God is saying that in that season, you will be in dominion. Your seasons will not rule over you. No matter what you are going through. Maybe it is the time of need. Maybe it is in the time of health. Whatever it is, be it in the winter season of your life, in the in the summer season in the uh, in the in the in the um, spring season in the name of Jesus no matter what season you are facing in life you will be in control you will not be subject to any tide you will not be subject to any tide in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth your life will be bountiful in the name of Jesus Christ you will not you will not you will not retreat into a closet in the name of Jesus you will not be afraid the Lord will help you to rule in your seasons every season no season will rule over you because the bible says the, the sun will rule in the morning and the moon will rule at night those are seasons in the name of jesus christ no season will devour you in the name of jesus your morning will not be devoured your afternoon will not be devoured your evening will not be devoured the bible says goodness and mercy will follow you all the days of your life that means that every day of your life you will find blessings you will find favor you will find mercy in the mighty name of jesus you will not be trampled the seasons of life will not trample you in the name of Jesus, when you are going through seasons, the Almighty God will give you grace. You will have grace to pass through it and you will pass through it victoriously. In the name of Jesus, you will pass through it victoriously. The Bible says, weeping can endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. In the name of Jesus, your joy will come. Your joy is here. Your night will not be endless. You will always overcome in every season of your life. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. We are still praying. He says he created the stars to shine at night in the name of Jesus Christ. God will give you grace to shine. Your life will not be dull. Your children will not be dull. Your spouse will not be dull. Your, your finances will not be dull. Every area of your life you will shine. You will stand out. You will be a source of hope in your generation. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. 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 We are praying from our change, our life changing prayer books, uh, prayer book, and we are praying from page nine on pressured, on pressured. And it says that actually, I'm not going to pray from page nine. Sorry, I'm going to pray from page 30. And we are praying from retro, retrospecting is prayer 18. And it says it's Luke 15 17. And it says, when he came to his senses, he said, how many of my father's hired servants have food to spare? And here I am starving to death. And so this is the story of the prodigal son. Of course, he was living a contrary life and, you know, a contrary life than what God intended for him or what God planned for him. And a lot of us are in that boat. You know, unfortunately, some people don't even realize that they're in that boat. But this man came to, you know, the Bible says he came to his senses. Some people have not even come to their senses, but this guy came to his senses. And so sometimes in life, you know, we need to backtrack on our failures or wrong decisions and make our way back to God. You know, maybe we've done something wrong in the past or something has happened to us. You know, this was what happened to this guy. He came back to his senses for decisions that maybe he should not have made. And so in life, we can't continue to flow in that boat or float in that boat or ride in that boat. There is a time where we need to come back to, to, to say, God, I am ready to flow with your plan. Amen. And so we're going to use this to pray that Lord deliver us from everything that would impair our judgment. The judgment of the prodigal son was impaired. He got his goods. He got everything he needed beforehand and he wasted it. You know, he shouldn't have gotten it at that time, but he felt that, you know, he could control that, you know, he felt that he was independent enough and that he could, he could, he could, he, that he was making a right decision, a good decision. And sometimes we are not. And so we are praying that God, every way in which our judgment is impaired or our spouse or our children, that Father Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, you will help us to begin to make reasonable decisions. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will begin to give us wisdom, begin to give us the right counsel. Father, to lean on you, to trust in you and to follow, Father Lord God, your precepts in the name of Jesus. Let's begin to pray that Lord, we pull away from every veil that is covering our mind. I don't know what veil is covering you, uh, you know anybody's mind at this time that you don't have clarity. Father Lord, you are the God of clarity and 
ever to God of confusion. Father, let there be clarity in every decision, in every business decision, in every career decision, in every marital decision, in every academic decision. Father, let there be clarity. We will not make mistakes in the name of Jesus Christ. We're going to pray that, Lord, I step away from every strange influence and wrong company. Every strange influence and wrong company. Wrong company can push you into making the wrong decisions. It can push our children into making the wrong decisions. Father, Lord God, we separate our children, we separate ourselves from every association from the pit of hell. Father, Lord God Almighty, every goat that is coming as a sheep, Lord, we separate ourselves. Every wolf that is coming as a sheep, we separate ourselves from them in the name of Jesus. We are going to pray that, Lord, every way in which I have decided to take control of my life. Father, in the name of Jesus, I relinquish the control back to you. I relinquish the control back to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I don't know how you want to control your life. Sometimes you feel that you've gotten everything and God is saying, no, I am the one that has the plan for your life. I am the one that I'm going to lead you. But sometimes we want to lead ourselves. We feel that we've gotten everything right, that we are so smart. Father, we pray today that we'll relinquish control back to you in the name of Jesus. We're going to pray for every prodigal that have left their homes, every child that have left their home, every spouse that have left their marriage, whatever it is, Father, we call them back in the name of Jesus. We call prodigals back even as this son came back in the name of Jesus, that they will begin to reflect the Holy Spirit will arrest them and they will come back home again. They will come back to God. Those that have left the faith, Holy Ghost, will pray that they will come back. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Spirit of God will convict every heart and every soul. Father, to come back in the name of Jesus. We're going to pray that, oh Lord, we break away from every impoverished mentality. The prodigal son became impoverished in his mind. He began to eat with the pigs. Father, Lord, everything that makes us to have an impoverished mentality, every inferior complex, everything that makes us feel we are not good enough, everything that makes us to come down and demean mean ourselves. Father, Lord, today in the name of Jesus, we pray that you will change our mindset. Oh, Lord, our God, and we will begin to have the mind of Christ. Our mind will be transformed after Christ, and we will embrace the promises of Christ in Jesus' name. And we're going to pray that, Lord, you are the God of restoration. Everything that we have lost. Father, we ask, oh God, for restoration tonight in the name of Jesus. Restoration of lost glories. Restoration of lost dignity. Restoration of lost finances. Of lost, of, of lost relationships. Whatever it is that we have lost. In the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, restoration of our joy, restoration of our peace in the name of Jesus. May you restore back to us our children, oh God. Whatever it is that we have lost, Father, may you give it back to us a thousandfold to the glory of your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Father, we bless you tonight. We give you praise. What a faithful God you are. Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayers. Blessed be your name forevermore. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. We have two prayer points. We have a sister that is praying for restoration for all that she, all that has been taken away from her. Father, you are the God of restoration. Everything your daughter has lost, we pray, oh God, that Lord, you will restore back. You will restore back a thousandfold in the name of Jesus. What has been taken away from her? Father, you know everything that she has lost. Lord, we know you are the one. The Bible calls you the restoration of the flock. May you restore back to her, her peace, her joy, her blessings in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. We are praying for one of our daughters that is going through anxiety and stress. Father, Lord God Almighty, the Bible says that cast all your care unto me for a character for you. Father, we pray, oh God, that Lord, every anxiety, every weight, every stress over the life of your daughter, Lord God Almighty, we uproot it right now in the name of Jesus. And we declare and decree that the peace of God will be her portion. The joy of God will be her portion. The love of God will be her portion. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, every weight that she's carrying, Father, Lord God Almighty, the Bible, you said that if you can carry the weight of the world, you will carry you will carry our own weight on you. Lord, I pray that you will carry every weight that Lord God, she will, she will put, she will, she will roll our burdens in your, in your, on your feet. And Lord, you will carry it for her and give her your peace and your joy and the spirit of, of stress and anxiety will be totally destroyed and discarded out of her life in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I just have a few announcements. I want to thank God for his successful Canada conference. Thank God for what he did, the women that came, the ignition that has taken place, lives that will never remain the same. Thank God for traveling mercies, for his faithfulness, for his presence, and for salvation of souls. We give you praise, oh God, and we thank you for all the people that prayed for us. May the Lord hear all your prayers too in Jesus' name. Uh, fellowship is next week, our once a month fellowship is on April 29th, next Saturday, we're going to be meeting at the Hilton on Highway, Highway, um, is it Highway 90 now? I think it's Highway 90, 
in Sugarland. We're going to be meeting at the Hilton and we're going to send more information on that. And if you're not in Houston, please join us virtually in Jesus' name. Our eighth year anniversary cruise is in August. We have a few cabins left. Uh, please kindly register. We'll also send the link and information. Again, we're going to Mexico and it's going to be an awesome, awesome time in God's presence. Also, don't forget to get our life-changing prayer book if you haven't gotten it. I know I need to mail some, the, this book to some people. I'm so sorry. Apologies for not mailing it yet. Um, get our life-changing books. It's full of prayers that will change your life. And God will hear all our prayers and our requests in Jesus' name. Thank you all for joining tonight. God bless you. Have a wonderful week. and see you same time next week. And don't forget to like our videos because when you like our videos, more people are able to watch it. God bless you and thank you for joining.